Bonjour ni hao! Welcome back to the Gamblers channel. I'm Johnny. And I'm Tim. And today we're here with a Disney haul. And my goodness, it's stuff even from April. <laughs> so like, if you've watched our previous videos, you know that we've kind of been neglecting some of the stuff. We've been putting Funkos we've been buying in Funko hauls. We've been putting lounge flies we've been buying in lounge fly hauls. Just to kind of like, I don't know, group differently. Group yeah, why yeah. not? And then, um, I mean, we do have some Funkos that we're going to show because they're Halloween-y. We want to get them ready for when we're going to film our background change video. So be on the lookout for that. Um, so yeah, this stuff is all basically box lunch, Hot Topic, Five Below, and Target. I want to say. Oh, there is like a Hallmark one too. But um, to start it off at Box Lunch with Hot Cash, I always buy oversized sweatshirts. I'm wearing one because I thought it would be easier. So it's cute of like Pua. It says, I'm no bacon. <laughs> <laughs> I love Moana. I've been on a huge Moana kick. So I thought that was fun. Next clothing item, even though it's mine, I'll let Johnny show. Aww, it's so cute. This reminds me of like the castle schematic they did that was like the oh, Cinderella's yeah. castle, but instead of Cinderella's castle in blue, they did beep boop beep boop socks in blue, and you, you can see all of his abilities. I wonder what that, if you scan that with a, a reader, what that would say, but look, long range Campbell, camera. Start, balance correction, so cute. Personal companion robot. The back is just blue, but look at cute little beep boop beep boop beep boop beep boop socks, and we love Tati and socks. And so now Tim can wear these with the socks ears he has. Well, I already have another socks one that I wear, but I do, yes. I love socks, and they they never make figure out. No, so, and socks is just basically cat Baymax. <laughs> All right, so next clothing item. I actually went in the store um, and I found this in clearance. So it was like, it was on clearance for 38 and then I got an additional 50% off or something. But I'm gonna have to like fabric soft and feel how hard this is. Ugh. I was like, it's crunchy. I can make it work, right? And it is um, a 2X, so it'll be a little bit bigger. Um, but I just thought it was cute of Tiana's Palace. So hopefully <laughs> I could get this to be softer. The inside's actually really soft. Just the outside is very hard and crispy. Could you hear that? <laughs> Ooh. But it's cute. It says Tiana's Place, the best food in New Orleans. And we actually were in New Orleans in the beginning of the year. And if you have not seen that vlog, we will link that above and below because we went shopping then too. Okay, I think I have another clothing So, <laughs> this one, I'm not a huge fan of like this style, but it was on sale. It's another Tiana, but I got this super oversized. So this is a 4X. I was like, cause like I had some and these fit kind of funky. I was like, this could just be like a sleep Sure, because it doesn't look 4X. Well, <laughs> it looks 3X, let's just say that. But um, it was on sale. I had Hot Cat or Box Lunch Money. They still have all of these in stores. So this is the Tiana version with like the lily pad flowers. And it is super soft and comfortable. Well, I'm not, I don't know. This, <laughs> I didn't realize this was on the arm thing so like if I roll it up it might itch me but I love this color and then on um, the last clothing item I got were I always like to get these on hot cash because I think they're like $32 or something too much right so these are Ariel Little Mermaid I've already worn them <laughs> but it has Ariel and Flounder and Sebastian I just love these. These are so lightweight and they're so comfortable during the summer. 
that I highly suggest these, but you have to look out and look for the cotton ones because uh, they're making like these weird silky ones now and they're not as The quality is horrible. I wash them once and I never wear them. I don't like them. Do you want to show this? So if you watched us, you've seen this in our background, but I had hot cash so I decided to get a second one. And we needed a second one uh, because uh, the first one is in our living room and it fell off because Tati like hit the ch uh, lamp stand yeah. and so now there's like a big dent in this because this is just like plastic so or like like waxy plastic so we have another one now that is just purely in our background. I didn't put batteries in this one because we don't ever turn this one on because it creates a weird light balance but here is the candle from the LED light up candle. You two can crush your grandchildren's dreams with this cosplay candle. All you need to do is stand there and cast judgment on their choices and tell them they aren't good enough. <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> but I, we love Encanto and we love this candle. And we're so happy to share this candle because what was it? I was watching a video the other day that you had on and I found out that our friend uh, Coco for Disney got the candle because she saw it in our video. So now we have a second one. It's, this, it's like the um, giving candle or like sisterhood of the traveling candle. <laughs> That's true. It's like one of those TikToks. <laughs> yeah, and it goes super cute in our Encanto shelf. Mm -hmm. And now I don't need to run between this room and our living room every time I want to bring the candle out. Mm -hmm. oh. So, um... It's a candle. Okay, a couple of you have seen that because it's almost... I know it's almost Halloween, but it's almost Christmas, which means it's time for that the candle. It's an old SNL skit um, about a candle that gets passed around every year. And it can't be a nice candle, it's just a Walgreens candle. <laughs> Passed around it. <laughs> so, um, I got three in this new Peter Pan series. Um, I didn't want the Peter Pan because we already have one of him that looks cool. The Tinkerbell one we have, I might get rid of the original one because it's so small. But, um, this is the new Peter Pan series. So they have Peter Pan, Wendy, the Mermaid, Tinkerbell, and then Captain Hook, which is like probably the 11th Captain Hook they have. I'm flying, you can fly, you can fly. So this is the first Wendy that they've made. And I do like Peter Pan, who just like, I don't know. This does bring me back to childhood though. I always liked Wendy. And then um, we have Tinkerbell, and I like that she has this stand. I don't know what this is. Is this a mirror? Someone comment down below what this is. Can't really tell. And then I just love the mermaid. I just thought that was cool because the mermaid lagoon scene is so fun. And like she could hang out with Ariel. The darlings should be very happy right now because Wendy got a very big glow up. She does not normally look this good. She looks good. This is a good pop. <laughs> um, I was looking at the other ones and I was remembering that we had we have two we have the really small Tinkerbell and then we have the one sitting. Yeah, I wanna get rid of the little one. I want I wish there was one where she like showing her butt. <laughs> like her hips, like doing that one. Because that always makes me laugh. I'm sure they'll make it. <laughs> Alright, this find, my god, guys. I was so nervous because I, we were going to Vegas for my birthday, and this released online, and like it was sold out everywhere instantly in stores. And I was like, oh my god, I don't want it to arrive though, like when we're gone, because like I don't trust our neighbors and all that stuff. But, um, so I, it was still there like two days before we were coming home, and I ordered it. But if you guys know, this Toucan Sam, so like they've only ever made like the first version, which I think was limited to like 500 or something. Then they made another version that was metallic. Which that was so ugly looking. They only had 200 so of good. them. I really liked that one. I wanted it. The really? Donchies have it. Oh. Um, it's worth like a thousand dollars. So now they have this one, so that one's gonna go down and bright. Is, is he actually flying in this one? He's flying. See, this one's better, because the other one he was just like a block. Oh my god, but I finally have a Toucan Sam to go with our ad icons. Oh my god, that's what, I'll tell you a story after this. 
to go with our ad icons. So there's the box, his little rainbow, and then it says, follow your nose. So this one is like, they open, um, they made a lot of them, but it's sold out already, I think, and it's going for like a lot on eBay already. But the fact that we have one, I'm like, now we just need the Trix Rabbit and I'll be good. But there's Toucan Sam flying, flying. <laughs> He'll be riding. Rising. So cute. That is the seventh cereal ad icon we have. Because we have Cap, we have the good Captain Crunch, we have the Smackums Bear, Count Chocula, the, who's the, they're great! Um, the bee, that little, like, nosy bee from Cheerios, the lip smackers bear, wait, no, not the frog, smackums. We have a lot. This new series came out from Hocus Pocus 2. It's interesting some of the characters they made, because it's like, what? I don't know. Who really would want, like, Becca and Cassie? Who remembers or their name? Or Izzy and Gilbert? I don't remember. <laughs> Gilbert's kind of cool because he's like a special version, but they should have made a Billy. But, um, yeah, we do have the three Sanderson sisters, so we will show them out of the box. And these girls also got a glow up, too. I really like these pops because they were my... A, they're on bases, finally. But B, they also, um... Remind me of the princess transformation dresses they just released. And Tim and I opened these last night and we're looking. And we definitely ranked the ladies, um... Wispy smoke around the It's night. really funny, though, because... So you know how, like, they kind of did Sarah, um... Jessica Parker dirty in the second movie. Like, they made her hair so limp, her eyebrows were a mess, her makeup was hideous. Well, guess what? Her Funko looks the same. Yeah, they did that. They gave her limp hair. She looks so ugly, but I mean, I had to get out. I mean, she's a witch. You know who got the best glow up is Mary. Mary, I well, think. Well, she lost weight and she looks Well, and also, look at this pop, right? So Mary is super tall with her, like, awesome updo in black and purple. She has her beautiful new body, but look at this pretty red smoke that it gets the movement not only by this hand but then scoops up this way and then goes around her to the back of her cape and it's just so elegant and you can just see the fluidity of movement now let's compare this one to i don't know this sad winifred one winifred is the head witch why is her smoke so sad and it's just coming up there and then it kind of wraps around like this way but it i don't know it just could feel special i love the way they did her face and her hair but they finally as tim said they finally corrected the top part they got her hair right they made her look at her teeth and her iconic lips and the detail on her their upgraded dress and cloaks are so pretty and then here is Sarah. They really did great on her dress and her cape. Uh, but look at her sad center part. And then I love the mole, though. But her wisps are, like, okay, because at least they're coming up twice. But look, they don't even go around her body, like, her back. So it's just, like, it looks like a little, like, I don't know, like, what, a dog or, like, a little, like, statue in front of her. I don't know. But I, like I said, Mary's, I think, is the best wisps. And yeah, I um, only got the first series of the sisters like they kept releasing them like they have like the sisters like on their bo brooms or on the thing they have another version last of year you got the three the well the it's stand, like the a movie, movie moment, moment. Yeah. you got the move so we yeah, have the i'm not getting individual that's why wait I'm don't saying. we have them we have the original series where they're holding the vacuum broom and swiffer or whatever I think Mom. they're just standing no but i swear i have we have one with mary holding a broom in the original, the very I first know. series, I I'll remember that. Look. They're in the base because those. I remember the broom is because those original series pops were done early on in pops days, and they, they're really wanky on the base. I, don't, I just remember that. I don't know, but it was like the first series that came out, and then like did I didn't want to keep getting them and like whatever. But like these are different enough, and these are from the second movie that I was like, I accept it. All right, and then. Um, we did open up a lot of The Nightmare Before Christmas in a previous Halloween haul. We'll leave that above and below. But I did see um, the Pumpkin King 
So I rewatched this and because I, I originally didn't know like where that comes from. Yeah. That's the cool dance he does at the beginning yeah. when he's on fire. So I watched and I saw him. I was like, oh my god, I can't. that's a great pop. Tip. I do. Like I would have wanted that one. So we have him now, and then um, we do have this one, and then Sally's on the way, but Amazon like delayed her for some reason. I would have probably got her a box lunch, but this one's cool. Again, it's on a base. But like, how cool is that? He's like on fire. Looks like a scarecrow. He's doing a hoedown with Ashley Simpson. And I always love and appreciate on Jim Shores and Funkos when they do like gravel and like stone. It just looks so nice. You know what's so funny is they still put him on a um, vertical stand because he's so delicate. But look, they even got like the cool iridescent Tina Burner flames. Mm -hmm. But my favorite part of this is when he literally, he does this like almost near impossible extension when he's like twirling and his like right leg just double plays up and like spins around. I'm like, oh, that's everything. <laughs> and you're a skeleton. Oh my god. This one I'm so excited about. I'm so happy they did this series. They finally did movie moment. They, they, but are these classified as movie moments? No, there's called deluxes. No. So these are a series of all of the hot doors. So, but they don't show all the doors on the back. How many have they done? Just this one and then there's a Christmas. Okay, they should do an Easter one and other holidays. Let's open sure this will. up. Uh huh. I'm sure they will. They oversaturate. Look, it's the doors from the of the forest that lead to all of the different towns, and this one leads to Halloween Town. Boom, 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 boom. And then look, there's Skinny Jack. And last, uh, we got to meet Jack and Sally, and we'll link that vlog above and below if you have not watched that. But we got to talk to them. I think what was my big question? Oh, yeah, I found out if they were married or not. Eek. That was an awkward question. <laughs> I, I kind of wish he wasn't blocking it as much with his hand, but... I mean, it's fine. It's so cute. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. And then I think... I only have one more Funko. So this one I had to buy because it was one that has been in the making for two years. It was delayed, canceled. Yeah, the Maleficent one came out, but I was like, we have so many Maleficent ones. They, we also had the Evil Queen one. We have the No, Evil... it's not the same on the throne. It's different. Wait, the Evil Queen on the throne? I know, is... but it's different. Like... Oh, it's a different it's series. Not oh, it was yeah. a different series, guys. So I had to get Hades. So it's just so cool, and it was on sale, of course, because that's how I like to roll. So this is gonna be cool during Halloween. We could have like tons of villains on our background. Oh, what? Oh, that's stupid. <laughs> what? It's like not even on the thing. Oh no, that's the way all the thrones are. No. The real thrones, like the Maleficent one, she's separate. We don't have that one. No, I know. I'm saying I saw it in a picture. We don't have any real thrones, but I heard that the I real ones do sit. Didn't like that. know this was literally. Oh, I guess his butt is sitting. But there's the throne. Looks super, super cool and like Halloween gothicy. And then there is Hades, which kind of looks like the other Funkos we have, but. Look at his little booty. So it does allow him to sit on there. Which is super cool. And you could even put Dorables on his chair. Oh! That is... I do like his base, like his like body. Like, that is a cool s sculpt. And like, they did his hair differently than some of the others. They made it bluer. Oh, that's fun. I do like just the chair, though. You could just do all... I could just sit there. Mm -hmm. That booty, though. Mm -hmm. He's really not sitting, he's perched, I would say. So that was all box lunch. Um, we have tons of pans. But we do have some of these. I guess we could show these, because these are like Funko-esque. So we got some Bitty Pops. If you guys don't know, these are just miniature versions of... Here, I'll show them. Miniature versions of... Book of pop boxes. Yeah. So, um, they made princess ones. So these all come with three, and then one's a mystery. So there you have Ariel, Mulan, and Tiana. You have 
Moana, which we actually don't have this version of her. Merida and Rapunzel. We have... Oh my god, it says Peasant Bell in the box. Pocahontas and Jasmine. And then this last one we have Cinderella, Snow White, and Aurora. And then on the back you have, it has like the probabilities. So, um... The Belle is a 1 in 6, Elsa's 1 in 6, and then Ariel and Anna are 1 in 3. So, I'm just going to show you one open. So it comes in like a mystery bag, and then um, you open it, but we got Anna as the mystery in this one. And then they do come out of box if you would like. Like that, just super fun. And then it does give you a, um, like a display case for all of them. So it's like a nice little display case. And the fun thing is those uh, cases stack on top of each other too. Yeah, so that's fun. We'll probably open up the rest of them in shorts. I'm wearing shorts right now, though, Tim. <laughs> um, oh, dad joke. All right, so hot topic. I went in there, and like I am like living for them lately. Their blind box game is like so on fire. So they have like a bunch of Disney ones now. They have. Um, a bunch of Pop Mart figures, which they don't have any Disney ones yet, but I'm assuming they're going to get them in. So, um, I did get a bunch of these stitch boxes, which we're going to do in a video. But, um, so they have this version. Aww. And then they have this like artsy version. Oh, like, like a Vare degree version. But they're really nice. Oh colors. my god, I love the art gallery stitches. Yeah. Him holding the pictures, so <gasps> stitch cleaning, gleaning the scrump. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I can't wait to open these. Be sure to subscribe to be notified when we open these. But so this is the Lilo and Stitch art gallery series, and then the Lilo and Stitch Mia 031. What does that mean? Don't know. But the options are so cute on both of these. This is the painting one I was saying that I really like, or him looking at Scrump. Sand ice cream's cute, sand is cute, guitar's cute. They're all cute. We love Stitch. Yay! Good find, Tim. Right. How much were those? Um, what are they cost? They were like 50% off. I don't know. They're $14.90. Oh, they're like mystery mini boxes. Then. Mm -hmm. I was trying to find the one I opened. Okay. Just to show you guys. So they come with like the fancy card, which is very Pop Mart and Miniso. And then this is the one I pulled in a short. I think really nice quality. Oh my gosh, and the hardwood, like the detail of him on the floor. And he's doing this face. What is this one called? What is his art piece called? Stitches Scream. <laughs> oh, that's cute. These are really good for you. These are better than some of the other ones. Either. So here is Stitch's scream, his little hands he's on cheek, but look at the detail of like his fur. Like this is a really heavy quality figure. And then this base, he on a wood floor. And then look at his little booty tail. He doesn't have his antennas. He just looks like a dog. His little spiky hair. Oh, he's so cute. Yeah, so we have tons for a video. Yay! Which is going to be fun. So we'll put these to side. Um, and then I found two of these Ninja Turtle mystery minis, which, like, I thought this was such a weird shape for the box. I'm like, what? They're normally in, like, big fat ones, so this makes me think they're going to be super, like, small and skinny. But these are the new Ninja Turtle ones. But I think these aren't from that new movie. I think these are just, like, how they normally look. Mm -hmm. There's a bunch of different um, rarities. It would be so cool to get the 1 in 36 guy. Crane. Yes, that's the one I want, too. And April O'Neil I want. 
Here is in a half shell. Turtle power. Do we ever tell everybody that we did yes, turtle cosplay? We've done that in a lot of videos. Okay, just making sure. So I wonder if they're going to be... Okay, so when you okay. open them, there's a baggie. And I got... Oh, yay! A one and six. I got Donatello. Oh, he's so, so they cute. Are, like, regular mystery mini. Yeah. Oh, they're so cute. Well, sh here's Donatello. Donatello was the smart one. He also was purple. I like Donatello. And he fought with this stick thing. Aw, they are so cute, little turtles. I just saw the clip of the office where Kevin ran over the turtle and then tried to fix the turtle. <laughs> Literally, right before we watched that, I watched that video. <laughs> Alright, and then the one in mine... Give us a different turtle? Uh, I have another turtle. I thought it was from the April. But we have Raphael. Okay, no, I think that those turtles kind of are like us. Like, I'm like smart no. and like nerdy and then no. you're like... Michelangelo would have been like one you? of us because we like pizza. Oh, that is true. But you're like and street the, smart the and nerd, edgy. The nerdy one we didn't get. No, the nerdy one's the purple one. No, the blue one. No, the blue is Leonardo. He's the leader. I don't know, I haven't watched this in like 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> so these are nice. These are a lot nicer than I thought they would be. Just because like the box made it look like they were going to be like super like little and cheap. But these do look like regular mystery minis. Oh, they're cute. I can put them with their other turtles. Mm -hmm. Here is in a half shell. And then um, I did find they have these like little ones just with one in there. Um, oh. And like the same exact bitty pop form so those will be in shorts so we have tons of pins of course but we'll show other stuff first so i got this like stress ball thing for johnny that's sweet of you tim thank you it's a playstation controller ish it's well it's not really a playstation it's a bootleggy playstation xbox controller uh but it, it let's see what the squish looks like Good squish. It's a rainbow. It kind of makes my hand sticky, though. I don't like that. But thank you. This is why I don't buy him stuff. He always complains. Everything I buy him is like, mm, mm, mm. Thank you, Tim. That's so thoughtful. I'll play with it. I like it. All right. And then um, also from Five Below, I found this awesome, like, it's an LED pearl light, which this is awesome because I saw... The Disney parks have a version of this, like Little Mermaid wise, that's like so expensive. But we have like kind of like a Disney hero ish bathroom, so, and a Little Mermaid um, shower, curtain. shower curtain. So I was like, I have to have this for $5. But guys, that's not it. Look what it does. <laughs> Like, how cool is that? See, and as we said, Tim and I love ambient light everywhere. Yeah, it's super, super fun. So I, this was one of the coolest finds I've found. And then the last things I got at Five Below are these two Squishmallows, which um, I thought would be fun for prizes for our next sale. So there's Lilo, and then there's Stitch and Hula. And then, um, the last thing I got a five below, I had to get it because I love owls. Um, it's Harry Potter. I've, I'm not a huge Harry Potter person, but like John is. So like having this in our house just seemed appropriate. We love Hedwig. For five dollars, look at a little owl. Hedwig. He's so cute. Hedwig. Doesn't he like deliver mail or something? Yes. And then I like what they did with his hands, because look, you could have him be bashful and hide. And then I think all that's left are, oh, actually. So we got these at Maniso. <laughs> I guess you could just show the outside. You don't have to open them. Oh, there's stickers on like um, stationery. So there on the left are these like cute little uh, tabs that you can post it, note, stick to things, remember where your place was. A lot of fun, lots of stickers. Oh, and look, here's the back so you can see <laughs> what everything looks like when it's not in the package. We love lots, so you can never have too much stationery. And then, um, from Hallmark, <laughs> I found this Zach Morris ornaments. I actually don't know what he does. There is a button, I just realized. 
But this was literally $2. Oh, well, poor Zach was only $2? And I was like, oh my god, I used to love this show. So there's Zach. Still love the show. Well, he's kind of problematic. Oh, true. So there is a sound. I think it's probably just the theme song. When I wake up in the morning. It's alright, cause then I don't think I opened this yet. Oh, that's cute. So there he is. Is he holding a cell phone? No. Aww. Yay! Oh, I can't wait to uh, play this and see what he sings. Oh, I like those sneakers, though. Oh, well, that's fun. So, I was wrong. I thought I ordered this twice because this is from loungefly.com. I thought I got it at um, Box Lunch, but I didn't. So we'll open that up at the same time and I show these ones that I got. Um, because these are like $20, $25, but then with hot cash they're half off, so they're beautiful pins. Um, but I will show the first one. This is Ariel. I really like this one. It was it's so pretty. The box is like so fancy. You have um, him there, and then look at Ariel. This is such a big pin, and she actually like does the sliding element, so you can make her like dance. So yeah, it has like the slider thing there. Oh, you can make her go up and down too. Nice pin. They then, love a sliding element on these pins. Right, and then this one I had to get just because I thought it was so pretty. It was Ellie of 2000. It was 20, so it was only 10. Again, fancy box. This one is like, I don't know, it's black and white, which sometimes they like mess up our board, but we have a perfect board to put this on. And then this is a moving element there. You could like close the curtains. So it's um, Cinderella and Prince Charming. So you could like kind of close them to give them props. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, what's happening behind the closed curtains? Oh. Okay, if you've seen the Cinderella 3 where like Prince Charming gets a little like swishy, like that's a great moment when he hides behind there. <laughs> oh, and then this is the inside out one. As Tim, Tim said, it comes in this beautiful box that kind of looks like the uh, inside of the thing. You have the dream uh, studio, you have the danger keep out place, the train of thought, all the lovely places in the movie. But then here is the um, emotions, fear sadness, joy, disgust, and fear in the islands of personality. So there's Family Island, this was the Trust One Sports, this was Friendship and Goofy. I always said that that girl who was her friend was not her friend. I love that she was like, we have a new girl. I'm like, read the room, friend. But this also has a moving element on the back, and basically Joy can go up and down and jump the way Joy jumps. Yeah. Yeah, I like that it's glittery. Mm -hmm. oh, I didn't even notice that. All right, so now we have, <laughs> oh actually, I have one more pin to show. So um, I will link this short um, above and below, but we did show her in each outfit, but these are like the paper doll ones. We've done, um, so they've done like Ariel, Aurora, or no, yeah, Aurora, Pocahontas, Mulan. Bell. Elsa, Belle, we have like all of them. But like you could change these and make them magnetic. I'll just show this one. So it's just kind of, it's the pin, and then on the back it's a magnet, and then you could change them out however you want. Which is super fun. So we have more of those giddy bitties. Oh, cute. We have this pin, which I thought was such a good deal. It was only $10, but it like has all of them on it. Like that'll, it's kind of cheap feeling, but like, <laughs> it'll go nice on one of our boards. Oh yeah, it's that a is, cute composite though. We love a composite photo. That is one of the mixed boards. So it's like Tiana, Aurora, Cinderella, Moana, um, Belle, and Snow White. So like, I just thought that was cool. Because you don't see them all together a lot. Remember my motto, wherever there's trouble, that's where I'll be. 
Hey there, it's time to rock and roll with your main music man, Zach Morris, here on KKTY Bayside. Oh, it's quotes. It's like the elf ornament. It's just quotes. High school is the best time of your life. So love it, live it, and enjoy it. I cut that one off. I love school. You know, I finally figured out the best thing about high school. After graduation, you don't have to come back. Oh, my. I think it should have been the song. So those are all the mystery boxes. We have two of these, which are magnets. <laughs> these are from my, when I went there in April. So I guess we can just open these. Yeah, so these are the options. They're all pride stitch magnets. Uh, cute stitch. Yay. <laughs> Series 7. Alright, I really want... Why do you look so mad, though? I guess I want the donut. I want the exclusive because it's Lilo. It's really hard to open. I know, this is just over there. I can't get them. What's that thing? That's a knife. That's a screwdriver. Oh, oh you're right, it did. Oh, oh. Oh. Surfboard. Surfboard. Mm -hmm. It's a very. Uh, but he looks so mad. <laughs> he's like he's mad. He's they drew right. Aaron Michael eyebrows. Ooh. I roast you, Doc. Look, look at those angry like Daniel Levi Levy uh, eyebrows. But love pride. Love that he's surfing. If you see that, he kind of looks happier. And then this was the one Tim got. He got Stitch with Pride Pineapple. We love print Stitch and Pride Pineapple. And then um, we had to get two open edition pins, mochi in a box, and then Baymax with, like, birds on them? Like butterflies? Oh my god, look at this mochi one. I thought you would have been more excited when I showed you. No, I've, we've, I've seen that pin many times. I haven't been with you when, we, when it was out, though. But I think you and I looked at it, and we both talked about it, how you said I had it. Because I, I celebrated and cheered for that pin. That's a cute pin. I love both of those pins. Because when I was in Puerto Rico, I saw those and I was like, do we have these? And you're like, no, I'll get them. I was like, I don't know where the other one went. Oh, uh, Ember? Yeah. I do not know. I don't know either. Um, you could show these two because you picked these up. Yes. So this I got in Puerto Rico at the box lunch there. And if oh, you've not seen that video, I will link that above and below. But they started doing this new series of princess. Was it just Moana? The oh, princess? Yeah, it's just Moana. So just Moana, but in silhouette. But I love that this one had Hey Hey and Pua and that leaf and her oar, so cute. And then Tim and I recently saw Elemental, and we love its story of immigration and diversity. And so we had to get Wade Robson and Ember because they're so cute. Wade I put Robson. That's not his name. Wait, Wade what? Robson's that douche that um, Brittany cheated on Justin. Oh yeah, Wade. His name's like Wade. Wade something though. I don't think you're the last one. I thought they all do. Comment below. But anyways, um, we like this movie. I put a poll on Insta to see who I was most like, and you said I was more like Wade, which I don't know if that's true. <laughs> Emotional. <gasps> and then this I was looking for to put in our Halloween haul, um, but it is new Madame Leona pen. I just thought this was super cool, and I love that the... Um, bottom is like that cool neon that they're doing and it's a bubble and then we have mystery pins oh, goodness. Mm -hmm. I don't know how we're gonna show these so this is brand new we have ten of them to come. Um, we're gonna film just give me one of each box yeah. All right, so the first one we have is we have a bunch of these new pumpkin series, which we can't op wait to open. We have more of the dog houses. There are, ooh, I've never seen these. These uh, princess circle ones, those look cool. Uh, more of the princess name tags and princess sidekicks on record players. But these princess circle ones. Cool. Oh, flowers. It's more flowers again. Oh, yay! We finally got more of the Mc McNugget Buddies, which we opened one of these as a short, and I love these. These are really cute pins. Uh, and then the, here are the Villain Train Connector series, uh, which remind me of the Funkos. Oh, we also have more of these cool villain, chibi villains, which with their backgrounds, which is a cool set, which I've never seen. 
more of, I, we opened the bikes. These, I like these Pixar bike ones. These are really cute. I, we still need a lot of these. And then Stitches Foods. Oh, oversaturation of Stitches Food. And then it's summer, so let's go camping with more princess camping ones. I don't think I've opened these, or maybe Tim did, and I don't remember. I did one in a short. Oh, but I can't wait to open these. I We opened these a couple of times. I like really like the mirrors, because they're like actual mirrors. Uh, ooh! Stitch and Scrump series! Oh, I can't wait to open these. That's so cute. And then, oh, more of the black and white ones. <laughs> You can tell which pins I'm enthused about by the way I say them, I realize. Oh, more of those. Yay, good finds, Tim. Right. Well, these are all accumulated. Because um, it's hard now to buy so many pins because, like, the way they do box lunch and Hot Topic cash. Cash and the so stupid $6.99 shipping. I hate They're losing shipping. business! Well, not really. I'm oh, kidding. I mean, it's what it is. They could be losing. So, yeah, this has been a very long video and we are very tired. Um, so, let us know what your favorite thing we opened was and please give us a big thumbs up. Yes, and if you enjoyed this video and are not a subscriber and enjoy, enjoy Disney game, pop culture, and lifetime related content, be sure to hit that subscribe button to be notified of our future videos. If you are a subscriber, thank you so much and Tim's gonna play with it. Do you not think it's sticky? It is kind of sticky. Okay! I, like, I wasn't you trying- You probably spilled something. No, I genuinely haven't touched that since I got- like, you just showed it to me yesterday for the first time. Like, I wasn't trying to- All right, just bye! bye.